hi everyone in this video we will be solving the sixth question from the lead code pattern website under the two pointer section which is a three sum problem so a prerequisite for this problem is the two sum problem uh, i have made a video on that one you can check that out so let's start with the problem statement so we are given an array nums of integers and we have to find a triplet such that all the indexes are pairwise distinct and the sum of those three elements should be equal to zero and there is one more thing that the solution set should not contain any duplicate elements so let's say if we are including one minus one and zero then we can't take another triplet with one minus one and zero right so they have to be distinct let's take this example itself so this is the example and a very easy solution which is a brute force solution so we can create all the pairs all the pairs so that will be for this element we will pair it with this and this so we can form all the triplets here and we know that forming all the triplets will take order and cube time and then we can simply check if sums to zero then we can add it to the result and we have to make sure uh, it has to be distinct so this overall will take order and cube time right so this is the brute force solution let's start optimizing this solution so if you have seen the video from the two sum problem we kept like two pointers left and right pointer and then we find out uh, if there is a pair uh, which is equal to the target so here the target is given as zero the target could have been uh, something else so the same solution which i will be showing in this question will work for that as well so uh, let's say we keep those two pointers so this is the left pointer and this is the right pointer here and i am introducing one more pointer so let's call it a fixed pointer so for the fixed pointer we reduce our point uh, our solution to the two pointer one so here we have one fixed pointer and on this part of the array we will do same thing we did on two sum problem right so for this minus one we will add zero here and then we will add this right pointer minus four here and we can check this sum so if this sum is equal to zero then we simply add it to the solution if the sum is greater than zero that means we want to reduce the sum so we move the right pointer to the left hand side if the sum is less than zero then we move the left pointer to the right hand side since we want to increase the sum so this concept comes from the two sum problem right and there is like additional fixed pointer here so in the next iteration what we will be doing is we'll move the fixed pointer ahead and we'll move the left pointer here and the right pointer here and we perform that same thing on this complete array until we find a triplet where the sum is equal to zero so i think uh, this is clear uh, and there was one more thing about the duplicate we shouldn't have any duplicate triplets so that we will see how we can tackle that in the solution itself in the code itself sorry so let's start with the code so let's start the code with a simple condition that there should be at least three elements in the array so if nums of size is less than three then we simply return empty array and then we want to keep a result vector so it will be vector of vector of int result and let's reserve some space for this and the maximum triplets can be nums size divided by three right after that we will sort the array so nums dot begin and nums dot end so i think i forgot to mention this point since in the two sum problem the array has to be sorted so same it's with this case we have to make the array sorted first right so now we have the array sorted we can start with our fixed pointer so let's call it fp it will point to zero first and then we will move it until we have at least three elements like so we can do minus two here and fp plus plus right after this we will get a left pointer which will point to fp plus one as we can see here if the fp is pointing here lp should be pointing ahead of that and rp is pointing to the end so let's define that as well so rp should be pointing to the last element of the array minus one right and then we do the same thing we did in the two pointer question so if while the left pointer is less than the right pointer we'll do something so that something will be first we will calculate the current sum which will be nums of the fixed pointer and nums of the left pointer and nums of right pointer right 
so this is the sum if the current sum is equal to zero then we have found a triplet so let's just push it back into the array so we can do nums of fixed pointer and nums of left pointer and nums of right pointer and this will be like this right so after this we simply increase the left pointer we decrease the right pointer since we have included that element and here we would have to handle the duplicacy so handle duplicate so we will come back to this now the other condition if else if the current sum is less than zero in that case we will do something or if it is greater than zero in that case we will do something so if the current sum is less than zero we want to increase the sum so we will increase the left pointer otherwise we will decrease the right pointer here right and once we exit this while loop this one we want to remove uh, duplicacy here as well remove duplicacy right so now let's start handling these conditions so first i will handle duplicacy on the left pointer so left pointer duplicate so what we can do is we can remove all the duplicate so while the left pointer is less than the right pointer so i think lp and rp right and nums of left pointer is equal to nums of left pointer minus one that means its value is same as the previous one which we have already included here so until this condition is true uh, we will make lp plus plus same we will do for the right pointer so same this condition will remain same and we will make a right pointer is equal to equal to right pointer here it will be plus one so we are looking ahead here and this will be rp minus minus so this will handle the duplicate for a right pointer and now we want to remove duplicacy here so let's do that so similarly what we will do is we will move the fixed pointer so while the fixed pointer is less than nums dot size minus two the above same condition which we used right here and what we will do is we will check some other conditions so let's check one more condition which is nums of the fixed pointer i think i called fixed pointer fp right so i'll rename this one and this one yeah so fp is equal to nums of fp plus one right until the time we have fp equal to equal to fp plus one that means the ahead element is equal so this will draw it here so let's say we have fixed pointer pointing to one this is one this is also one and this is two. so this will be fp plus one here so these both are equal so we will move fp here so fp will be pointing here this will be fp plus one they both are equal so fp will be pointing here now we can see this is also one and this is also one but we want two here so the reason why we are keeping this fp here is because we are running a, a for loop so in this for loop we are doing an increment so once we leave the fp here in the next iteration means the increment step we will move the fp to two here that is the reason we are leaving it here so we are doing here fp plus plus right fp plus one so this will be fp plus plus and at last we return the result i think it looks fine let's try to run it so it is running fine on the given input let's submit this we can see this is accepted and we can see the percentage so i hope solution is clear to you and if this video helped do like the video and please subscribe to the channel thank you